And we're back. Um, I, uh, I can't upload the last episode of Majora's Mask, or the latest one, uh, because it's all messed up, apparently, so sorry about that. But, uh, I think I just messed, or missed, like, half the dungeon. So sorry, but, um, remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Oops. Sorry. Um, your sister can act as a st kind of like a storage facility. Uh, anything in your inventory that you you can't hold at the moment, uh, you can, um, you can have her hold on to. Okay, so we got Pac-Man to join us. You're a very reliable friend. She was saying that the dog was pretty unreliable? Yeah, right. Ring, ring. I don't know where the dad is. <laughs> I started to read all of this, but second thought, I don't think I'm going to read everything. So yeah, this little kid actually has his own ATM card. I don't understand that at all. Alright, so here's the battle sequence. Basically, if the enemy run-ins run run-ins runs into you into your like runs into you from behind when you're facing away from him, then the little swirly thing that you just saw will turn red. And that'll mean that they'll get to attack you, and then the match will start. But if you can attack them from behind, it'll be the opposite. The little swirly thing will turn green, and then you can attack them, and then the match will start. If it turns blue, that means that you both were facing each other, and the match just starts right away. Alright. Something else that's cool is uh you can actually do auto fight which means you know it'll fought, fight automatically don't have any psi yet um have red roll the one oops what did i do did I, oh i did defend didn't i oh my bad bash yeah pac-man can do quite a bit of damage he's pretty cool Alright, so I got the runaway dog. Level 2, sweet. I don't know why the music's not playing here. It has music usually, and it goes. Anyway, uh, so. Alright, oh wrong way. But I was just. I was just exploring a little bit. Uh, when you, uh, see there are, there's a, at least three enemies that you can encounter around this area. The runaway dog is probably the one you'll find the most. It's about the middle, and, like, if you put them on a scale of weakest to strongest, the, uh, the runaway dog's in the middle. The weakest would be the, uh, the coil snake, I believe it's called. It's the snake. Uh, and then the strongest would be the something crow. They all have certain names. Runaway dog, coil snake, uh, 
And then the crow, I can't remember its name, but it's probably the strongest one that you'll have to fight. Uh, but don't worry, it's, yeah, sea cool snake. But don't worry, it's fine. They're not the hardest thing ever. And you don't ever kill anything, it just becomes tame. The crow I was talking about, you'll encounter that throughout pretty much the whole game. That's the crow. Uh, but the runaway dog and the cool snake, they'll have different versions. Spiteful crow, that's it. Spiteful crow you'll pretty much encounter throughout the whole game. But the other two, you'll just find different variations that are stronger. Um... Also, uh, sometimes you'll be able to get um, an item after you kill something or make it tame. The Spiral Crow, you will always get a cookie from. So it's not a complete waste of time to fight it. Six HP. Pokey can't ever die right around here because he's just cowering the whole time. Which sucks, because I'd love to see him die. He sucks, I'm serious. experience point. I want to use the bread roll. Mm -hmm. 28 HP, that's pretty good. And as you grow in levels, some enemies will actually start to run away from you. That's a wonderful thing when it happens. Because you can get like the, you can get a surprise attack, which is the green swirly thing that I was talking about earlier. Almost every time, if they run away from you. Sad thing is, sometimes they're actually pretty fast, so you can't always get them. About three experience points, I believe. Four. So now level three. I can't remember what all these stats do. Um, IQ. I know for Jeff, or um, Clyde as I named him, uh, for IQ, he um, he has a fairly high IQ at, to begin with, and um, it lets him fix items, certain items. And the higher his IQ, uh, the more items he can fix. HP, of course, is how much health you have. PP, that... It's uh, how much ma or not magic, but psychic energy you have. Once you run out, you can't use psychic powers anymore. I want to fight you. Okay, so I'm just gonna bash him. All right, see, much weaker now, <clears throat> or or stronger actually, but. Whatever. You can check how much experience you need to go up a level right here. 26 experience for next level. <laughs> Offense is how much uh, damage you do. Defense is how well you can absorb damage without actually dying, really. <laughs> or without... Um, it's, it's how much... Uh, damage you take basically. Uh, speed is your the likeliness that you will dodge an attack. Guts 
is really cool. If something does a fatal blow to you, and you are going to die, if you can kill them before your little health thingy reaches zero, since it goes down over time, instead of just instantly going down, if you can get it, if you can kill it before it hits zero, then you'll survive with one HP. Um, I, uh, that's the end of this video. Um, I'll be back next time.